I have just shot a deer, and uh, I shot her at 255. And uh, I'll tell the story when I set up to do my show and tell. Uh, I've already found her, but uh, I just wanted to show you what the deal is here. Here's the here's my little setup, my tent, or my truck. This a little campground area right here. And I don't know if you can see it or not. But my arrow is sticking up in the ground. Right there. And uh, I was, that's where I was standing when I shot the deer. She was about 16, 15 to 16 yards straight on the other side of my arrow. was where she was standing when I shot her. And uh, I'm fixing to walk down there and find her. And set up and do a little show and tell. And I'll finish the story then. All right, I'm back down here at this little old creek. It runs through the bottom of this valley here. And uh, I've already crossed the creek. The deer came from up the hill right there. And she hit the creek right there and paralleled this edge right here. And she fell in, the, she was in the water when I found her. I've already drug her up out of the water. And she was laying right there. There she is. I'm gonna set up over here and uh, we'll do a little show and tell. All right. I hope y'all can hear me over the creek. It's uh, roaring in the background right there. But uh, man, this is just unreal. You see how I'm dressed. Yeah. This is what I had on when I shot the deer. And I shot her off the ground. I decided to come up here to uh, Oak Mulgee today. And uh, it's been raining probably for the last, I don't know, maybe close to the last 24 hours. And I, I was hoping I could get here right at the tail end of that and uh, maybe get in the hunt this afternoon after I set up camp and everything. And, uh, when I, I pulled into the campground up there and uh, I looked out across there to see if there was anybody else camping and I seen this doe standing out there. And, uh, I just stopped the truck there, put it in park. Didn't switch it off, I just, just sat there and watched her. And she stared at me for a pretty good while, but all of a sudden she put her head back down and went to feed me. And I said, I can't believe that. You know, she kind of tucked in behind some you know, viney pine trees and stuff. So I grabbed my bow, all my camping gear is in the front seat of the truck. And I reach over there and grab my bow off the top of it get my tab off, get me an air out, and I, I leave the door of the truck open. And I, I get into a little crouch and start trotting down there towards where she's at. And about that time I see her head pop up. And she's looking right at me. So I just got as low as I could get and I could barely see her ears sticking up. And, uh, just a minute, she put her head back down. <laughs> and uh, I trotted on up there and got in behind a pine tree and I was probably within I don't know, 25 yards of her then. And I kept watching her and she was feeding along. So I, eat, I saw opportunity, I eased on up and got probably within 20 yards of her, got in, in behind a pine tree. And she, uh, all of a sudden, she turned around and, and starts to walk out there. And, uh, so I got in, I tucked in as tight as I could behind the pine and, and went ahead and drew and leaned out and I was going to take a shot as soon as I leaned out and I, when I leaned out she had turned and was head on to me and I was in a predicament and I eased my bow back down and I got about halfway back down with it and she looked dead at me and I just had to sit there and hold and uh, my arms was about to die she finally put her head back down and I eased it on down and, uh, I didn't know what was going to happen then, but all of a sudden she turned around and started walking out. And then there was a pine tree and she walked in behind it. When she walked in behind it, I drew. And she stepped out just as perfect, broadside. At a, I think of 15 to 16 yards when I stepped it off. And uh, I shot her with that big old tree shot. And this is 
This is actually the exit wound. I think the hide has slipped the holes. The hole is actually right here. But that's the exit wound. I'll roll her over. Let's see where it went in. Right there. That's where it went in. I hit her a little far back. But, uh, man, it, it did the job on her. It was one of the best blood trails that I can ever remember. I mean, it was just unreal. But the ground's still wet from all that rain we had. And uh, I had a hard time with it. I had to hunt and peck, and it took me, I think it took me about an hour to find her. But uh, like I said, real good blood the whole way, but I stepped it off going back out to get my field quarter bag. And I stepped it off, she ran 375 yards. It ain't no lie. And, uh, I, I don't see it. The way she was bleeding, I don't see how she, she made it that far, but she did. And, uh, she's a good size deer. Uh, I can't, uh, can't be any happier. Can't, <laughs> you can't start out a hunt any better than that.